Hello there, this is Nico, and I'm going to be playing some of the uh, Top Racer collection and kind of checking out what it has to offer. And this is a. Oh, we gotta go through this. That's a lot of user agreement. Um, so basically, this is a collection of games that were released in the early 90s. They were previously known as Top Gear instead of Top Racer. So, um, if there's any confusion, that's that's what's going on with that. And it looks like they have a whole bunch of different visual options, which is cool. Different screen types. I mean, obviously full we don't like because that's going to... But fits good. And you can get different background options. I think I'm going to go with just the black look. We got the audio here. Languages. Controls. Nitro. It's a little weird. Got the rumble feature. I feel like acceleration should be the B button. Yeah, type C looks good to me. Yeah. Interesting choice for the default. Looks like there's cheats. Finish the campaign. So, finishing the campaigns will unlock some cheats. So, that's the options. We'll check out some of the extras real quick. Looks like they have achievements. Oh, redeem code. That's interesting. Wonder if this stuff is okay. So, okay, so there's some gallery options. That's neat. Take a brief look at the achievements. These are probably the Xbox achievements, but this is the Switch version, so you can clearly unlock these in the Switch version. And then there's a sound test. So, now that we've kind of looked at the extras, we'll do the arcade mode, and we'll try and dabble a little bit in each of the games. So there's four total games here. We get Top Racer, Top Racer 2, Top Racer 3000, and then Top Racer Crossroads, which I think is like a newer game on here. So let's start with the original. Do you have to change the settings for each game or does that carry over? Okay, it looks like it carries over. So we're gonna do the campaign. Eh, maybe we should have done quick race. We'll do the campaign for the first one and then maybe do a race of each for the other ones. Single player, local split screen, single player, progression slots, auto save after each cup. Okay, that's cool. Alrighty. So we're gonna do the single player, and we're in Vegas, and play. And there's, okay. I have never played one of these before, so we are gonna be amateurs. And you can enter your name here. I'm just gonna leave it. Different car types with different stats, tire grip, fuel consumption, max speed. So looks like the Sidewinder. Oh, fuel consumption as well. Huh, that's a lot of variety there. All right, let's go with the Razor. So. All right, so this split screen, which is 
quite interesting. Control's good. Obviously, uh... Oh, wow. From a frame rate perspective, it's... I would imagine the same as the original. So it's on the lower end, when you're taking them fast turns, it feels like a bit kind of sluggish. Guys getting mad. Also, not at all good at this. So, my apologies. I'm using the thumbstick. I don't know if that's. The Best way to go. Might be more responsive on the D pad. But, uh. Yeah, I got my butt kicked. Eighth place. Not good. So. Alright. Well, we failed right off the bat on that one. So, that was the first game. Sorry that was not a great portrayal of it, but so now we get back out, we'll try the second one, maybe we could do a little bit better, and we'll do the campaign again I guess. Single player, this one's in Australia. Auto again because we did horrible on auto. I can't imagine what we do on manual. This one looks like it's got an upgrade system. if you like these arcade style racers. Um, been nice to maybe improve the frame rate. I don't know. I never played the originals. Maybe this is, is improved. It's not terrible, but kind of get like this shimmering effect. Kind of making my eyes water a little bit. Playing while we go. And we're in eighth 
Earth again like we were last last race. I think the nitrous uses some of your fuel, so I don't think, think that's all you got until the end of the race, otherwise you'll not be able to finish, is my guess. But we're, uh, we're not looking good right now. First place is just blowing us away. Keep in mind, this is on amateur, too, so... I don't think I'm doing that bad that I shouldn't be in like the top three right now. I'm clearly doing something wrong. It's gotta be because I'm an automatic. This is just shifting so late. That's got to be it. Oh, we did even worse. And this is, again, this is on amateur, so... The difficulty levels of these are uh, pretty brutal. I don't know how I qualified in 10. Okay, I got zero points, so that's not going to do me any favors. Okay, so that was Top Racer 2. And I am quickly learning that I am terrible at these games. So there's that. So let's try Top Racer 3000. We'll do the same thing, but there is all these other options. There's Quick Race, Time Attack. Custom cop versus if you want to play against somebody else. And again, there is the online features as well, which I'll look at briefly at the end of this video. This one's just a, a big kind of oval circle. We are on amateur again, which is certainly the lowest difficulty. Some little story bits here. Skip that. Oh, this is interesting. Looks like there's all these different options. Change the colors of your car. I don't have enough money to change anything. Okay, well, there's all these different stats you can adjust. We'll leave it on default because we don't want to mess with too much here. The option is there. by default. Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know why I didn't go there. I was holding the gas. Okay, this is like... Got some F-Zero stuff going on here. The recharge. Oh, this, this game is significantly faster. And... Shimmering kind of of the graphics is so a little bit more extreme as a result, but okay. So this we got boost. Apparently, we're suddenly sort of good at this, doing a lot better. 
car turns on a dime. I don't like this one the best so far. It just is unrealistic in its controls being so tight, but I like it. Maybe I like it because I'm actually doing decent. I'm in third. Oh, we hit a tree. I'm not going to be in third for too much longer. Okay, we got third on that one out of 20. So we weren't horrible, at least. Earned some credits, third place. Secret bonus A, whatever that means. Okay. This one's a lot fancier with its modern more like futuristic I guess look and feel it's also like taking place on planets interesting okay so we are going to now check out the last game which is Top Racer Crossroads. Okay, this one's in Vegas again. And we got different car types again. Guess we'll low tire grip. Let's go with the, with the middle of the road vehicle. So so far this looks like the first two games. Okay, this, this appears to be like the first game with the split screen. Hard to not hit these cars. The road is so narrow, even though it's three lanes. Some catchy music, huh? Buy a few more of these, it might be in a decent place. Out of my way. Keep cutting me off. Alright. I know, I'm horrible. place so if you're better than me at these types of games and you enjoy these arcade style racing games you'll probably enjoy this for me not very good at it and as such obviously even on the lowest difficulty not quite having a lot of fun it seems like for amateur I should be able to place in the top three so that's a little rough, but there's also this online mode, which race against friends and opponents from all over the globe. Network connectivity required. Yeah, so there is an online feature there. And again, if you enjoy these types of games, 
you will most likely enjoy this. There is a lot of content here to kind of sink your teeth in. That fourth game felt just exactly like the first game, but with different vehicles. So I'm not entirely sure how much of a new experience that actually is. Certainly didn't quite feel like one. And I think out of the three, I think Top Top Racer 3000 was the one I liked the most. It uh, controlled a lot tighter, even though it was more unrealistic in that regard. And uh, the first one, I didn't like the split screen, which I understand that's how the game was, so they kept that intact. But I didn't like that. It seems weird to have just the computer below you playing that you're not even looking, so you're just always playing on a half a screen. But yeah, this was Nintendo Switch gameplay, so I mean, it ran fine. I think it was just running how it used to. So hopefully you enjoyed this kind of first impressions, first look at Top Racer Collection. It's available now on the eShop, courtesy of Cubite Interactive. And uh, yeah, check it out if this if all looked interesting to you. If it didn't, and you're like me and you don't play a ton of these types of games, probably just give it a pass. But yeah, so thanks for watching this uh, video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.